Hi friends, now I'm going to discuss with you magnetization. What is magnetization? Magnetization is the magnitude of dipole moment per unit volume. Now consider a specimen like this and it will have a magnetic moment due to the orbital and spin motions of its electrons in it. And if I consider some unit volume of this material, that is some unit volume of the material and if I calculate the magnetic moment for this unit volume, that's, it, that's what gives me the magnetization. Now let us find the relationship between the magnetization and other magnetic parameters. Consider a solenoid like this. This is called solenoid, this helix-like structure. And I'm not exploring the properties of a solenoid, but just I'm using this solenoid for generating the magnetic field around it. I'm just taking this solenoid because it looks good when I'm visualizing it. So if I pass some current through this solenoid, what happens is magnetic field gets induced around it. Magnetic field will get induced around it. Now what I do is, I introduce a material of magnetization M. This is the material, this black one. This is the mag material with magnetization M into that solenoid. Material M into the solenoid. And introduction of the material into the solenoid will alter the magnetic flux density around this solenoid. And in what way will it alter, we will see. As I introduce a material of magnetization M, what happens is the dipoles in that material will also get oriented along the direction of the magnetic field which I have applied. So the overall magnetic flux density will be B equal to nu naught H plus nu naught M. Nu naught H is the magnetic flux density in the vacuum. That is the effect in the vacuum. That is the earlier one when that material was not there. And when I introduce the material, this flux density due to the material will get added to it. That will be nu naught into m. m is the magnetization which we have defined now. And the relation between the magnetization m and magnetic field intensity h will be the m equal to chi m into h. Suppose if you observe this equation, depending on the value of the chi m, b will be increased or decreased. Suppose if the chi m value is negative, then b will be decreased. And if the chi m value is positive, b will be increased. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't define the KM. What is KM is? KM is the magnetic susceptibility. Magnetic susceptibility is degree of magnetization of a material in response to an applied magnetic field. That is when I apply the external magnetic field to a material and how, what is the degree of it can be magnetized. If KM value is more, it is easily magnetized. So, for good magnetic materials, KM value will be more than, will be positive. So, always B will be more and we will discuss more about the SCIAM properties when we discuss about the types of magnetic materials called dia, para, ferron, anti ferro ferro materials and for now let's come back here and if I substitute this value here and this will be the equation and my final equation will be nu naught into 1 plus chi m into h and now I am introducing another important parameter called relative permeability nu r which is 1 plus chi m. Relative permeability is the ability of a material to become magnetized. And there is not much difference between chi m and nu r. Actually, chi m will take into the consideration only due to the external magnetic field. That is only this value when I introduce another material and the influence of this material's magnetic moment on the overall B is given by chi m. And the overall B change by introducing the material use nu r. That is B is nu naught into nu r into h, right? When I don't introduce any material, then that nu r value will be 1 because chi m is 0 and I get only the magnetic flux density due to this one. And if I introduce some material having some finite nu r, there will be the alter alternation of the B based on the material which I have introduced. And this gives the overall change of the P field due to introduction of some material or some medium. That is the difference between relative permeability and magnetic susceptibility. If you like the video, please subscribe. Thank you.